my name is Helene and today I have a very exciting book haul for you. I have two different kinds of books to show you today. The first kind is books that have been released recently and then the second kind of books are some more Penguin Clothbound classics because I love that collection and I had to get me some more of those books. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the new releases. First I have The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I can never seem to remember the title, I always have to look. This is the winner of this year's Man Booker Prize and that is basically why I got it. And also because Katrina from Little Book Owl, she did a book review of it and she loved this book. So I had to get it and read it for myself. I actually now own three books that have won the Man Booker Prize and that I haven't read yet. So I plan on doing a review of all three books and then compare them and see if there is anything special about them since they won this prize. Next book is a birthday gift that I received from the lovely Amanda from My Secret Book Club. I will put the link to her channel down below. She is the sweetest Swedish girl. I love her. I love her videos and her book reviews and I love the fact that she wanted to send me a book. And the book is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Satterfield. I've had my eye on this book for a long time so I'm so happy I finally have it. As far as I know it's about a woman who receives a letter one day. The letter is from a very famous author and she wants for this woman to write her biography. The thing is, this author is known for telling lies whenever she tells about her life. So now she's going to tell the truth, which will be the 13th tale. I have just started reading the book. I'm about two chapters in. So far, all I can say is beautiful, beautiful writing style. And it takes place in a bookstore. So I'm very, very intrigued. The last recent release that I have to show you is a book that I was sent for review. And that is Paper Towns by... John Green. I know this isn't a new book. It has been out for some years, I believe, internationally. But this is the first time that we have it in Danish in Denmark. So if you live in Denmark, you are now able to go out and buy it. And I highly recommend that you do so because I have already read this book in English and I loved it. It is one of my favorites by John Green and I didn't own it so now I do and I'm definitely going to reread it in Danish and see if I still like it or not but I'm pretty sure I do. Now let's move on to the beautiful books which is the Penguin Clothbound Classics. In my last book haul I showed you five books that I had already bought from that collection and since then I decided to buy eight more because I'm insane. First I have four books by Jane Austen. The first one is Pride and Prejudice in this beautiful yellow edition. It has these geese on the cover and I have never actually read this book. I have watched the movie several times, the movie with Kara Knightley and that's it. I love the story but I haven't read it so now is the time to do so. Next book by Jane Austen is Persuasion which comes in this beautiful green edition with feathers and who doesn't like feathers? I do. I also have Emma by Jane Austen which comes with chairs and I haven't read the story yet so I believe it has something to do with chairs I assume. And then the last book I have by Jane Austen is Northanger Abbey. Is it Northanger or North Anger? I don't know but this is the book and it comes with pink keys. So that's absolutely stunning. I love this collection so much and I'm going to do a separate video about my clothbound classics and reading classics in general. Then I have a book by Louisa May Alcott and maybe you have already guessed which one it is. It is of course Little Women. I read this book recently about a month ago. I loved it. I had to own it for myself. So here you have it. This book also contains the sequel called... I don't know something. So it has both books in it and I have never read the sequel so now I can do so and it comes with scissors and I know why there are scissors on this book. Not going to tell you why. If you want to know, read it. Since I'm a French teacher, I was very much in doubt whether I should get this book or not because the original version is in French but I decided to get it in English anyway because I couldn't help it. This edition is stunning and that is Madame Bovary 
by Gustave Flaubert. And I just love these colors. Combined, we have purple and pink. And I believe that it's some kind of flowers. So, yeah. I also have one of my favorite classics, and that is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I read this book about three or four years ago. I loved it, and I had to own it in this beautiful edition. And it comes with these binoculars. <laughs> I've forgotten the word. These, I think it's called binoculars. The ones you look through to better see. And then I have a classic that I have never read. And <laughs> it's going to take me some time to get through it, I believe. But being a French teacher and all, I had to own it. And that is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. And it comes in this beautiful black and red edition with birds on it. I have heard excellent reviews of this book, so I had to own it. And I'm going to read it very soon, because now that I own it, I want to read it. Like, right now. And the very last classic I have to show you is the ninth one, because I had forgotten the last one. But I have nine classics to show you today. And this is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I love, love, love Dracula. He has always been my biggest fear. When I was a child, I couldn't stand the sight of him. But at the same time, I was intrigued. I loved him because he scared me so much. So I had to own the book. And this is the original story, of course. And it comes in this black edition. Once again, with some different kinds of flowers on it. But yeah, I've read half of this book not the rest of it. I don't know why I stopped back then, but now I can read all of it and I definitely will. And that is it for my November book haul. I now have so many excellent books that I had to read and I absolutely can't wait. Have a great day everyone, happy reading, bye bye!